So this is the tree sentinel. You probably saw him when you were going off that ledge right out of the gate. He'll always open with a really slow swing that will try to bait you into rolling early and getting slashed. So it takes a little bit of practice. You might just want to avoid it. It'll look like this. And that. Really delayed swing. The next thing you need to know about is this attack right here. He will periodically do this attack if you create some distance with him. And it is the best attack that you can possibly use against him. When he does this, you can actually swing, or you can dodge to your back right, which will make his horse push you and slide you with him. And then you'll come out of your roll right on top of him, just able to get two quick swings. And in the first phase of this fight, that makes his horse, like, raise its feet, basically, if you're on his left side. And then you can just get more swings, get four easy swings. And if you want, you can just cheese it by repeating that pattern over and over again and just running away until he does it and just repeat until he's dead. That's like, that's the cheese way to do it. The other thing that is critical to know about for this boss is he's actually trying to guard his left side at all times. The side that has the shield is his weak side and he will do everything he can to keep you from getting over there. If you get over there in the first phase of this fight, he only has one attack that can even do anything about you being there, which is like the shield slam, horse slam attack that might you might be familiar with. It's super annoying. Uh, and even then, he rarely does it in the first phase. Second phase, he's a few more tools, but it's, you know, whatever. The left side's his weak side, even in the second phase. But one thing that happens in the first phase, and sometimes in the second phase, is if you try to run around his horse, it'll it'll bait him into doing a certain swing where you can actually just run right underneath of his horse and then just get to his other side and start swinging on him again. Between baiting him to charge at you and running around to his left side, that should make the first phase really, really easy for you. Once you get that down, it's really easy. So let's talk about phase two. You'll know it's phase two when his HP gets right around here somewhere. At this point in the fight, Running around to his left side actually becomes very dangerous because there are a few new attacks in his kit. The main thing is he's going to jump in the air and then slam the ground, or he's going to raise his shield and slam the ground, or he's going to do a light version of these where he just tries to shield bash you, which is going to be faster, and that's the whole trick he has here for phase two because he'll try to make you think he's going to do the shield slam and then you'll roll, roll, you'll roll too early and then you'll roll right into the slam. The other thing is the ground slam has a continuous effect. So you actually have to time the roll just right or else there's like a wide range of windows that you could come out of your roll and still get hit by it. And trying to get to his left side will bait him into doing this attack, which actually could backfire because it's hard to really react to that when you're trying to cheese and run around and stuff. It kind of could throw you off. So at this point in the fight, you have two options. There's the safe option and the dangerous option, but the dangerous option will make you look really cool, okay? So the safe option is to just run and then just dodge every swing, which is it's really easy to see a swing. Because if you keep your distance, you can actually just stare at his hand, which is another thing you should really be doing when you can in this fight. If you stare at his hand instead of his body, you can clearly see when he's actually going to release the swing so you don't get baited by the slow wind-up attacks. His hand will always telegraph the time that the swing is going to happen if you stare at it. So knowing that, you can just run away and just keep dodging his swings until he goes for the charge. And then when he goes for the charge, you can do the thing we talked about earlier where you dodge to your back right let the horse push you, and then come out of it to get two easy swings, which in the second phase, he'll follow up almost always with a shield bash, as long as you end up on his left side, which, once you get used to the timing, the shield bash is not that dangerous. You can just start to play it safe. You can just start running away immediately, and then dodge roll on top of that, just to be safe, and then just keep running until he does another charge. That's the safe strat. But if you don't want to play it safe, if you want to look cool, if you want to impress your friends with the boss fight that you got down and did good, then what you're going to do instead is you are going to try your best as to run to his left side, to do that when he charges, to be on his left side. You're going to try to get on his left side as much as you can in phase two. And what that will do is that will bait him into using one of the shield slams. And if you practice it a little bit and you get the timing on his shield slams, it's actually his biggest opening. So you can actually trick him into shield slamming, which 
he can only do two shield slams back to back and then he has a cooldown on it. It's almost like an ability with a cooldown. So knowing that, you know that he's going to shield slam and then you can run back in and then you can hit him, if you, especially for the, the slow shield bash, the, like the one where it's like not slamming the ground, you can actually just gauge the distance and just wait and he'll stop just short of you and then you just smack him. And then he'll always follow up with the other shield slam type. And so then, knowing that, you can easily dodge it, because you know which one's coming. And then after you dodge it, you can just come right back in. Or if you want to be real pro, just dodge straight into the side of his horse and iframe the slam. And then just start beating on him. And he'll have to run away, or he'll have to buck his horse, because he can't slam or shield bash two times in a row. And that's everything you need to know about the Tree Sentinel boss fight. If you follow all those tips and tricks that I just gave you, It'll make the fight so much easier for you, way, way easier. Also, you'll notice in those clips, I was not locked on to them. Now, depending on whether you're playing on a controller or mouse and keyboard, do you use what's called the claw or not the claw? You know, you may have to change some things up, but the principles of what I showed you still hold true. He's always gonna be guarding his left side. He's always going to charge periodically, which will give you an opening. You can always abuse that charge in order to slide with him and get some free attacks. On phase two, when you get on his left side, he's gonna try to shield slam you, and he's gonna try to bash the ground, which does massive AoE on a continuous basis. These are all things that you need to watch out for. And also, again, his greatest strength, which is that shield bash, shield slam, is also his greatest weakness. You can just squeeze right in there and get some attacks on him, no problem during that. It just depends on how you want to play the fight. Are you just wanting to beat him? Because if you just want to beat him, you're literally going to make a 20 minute fight where all you do is wait for him to charge and get that opening like I showed you and then just get those two or three free swings and then you're just going to run away and you're just going to run and dodge his swings, run and dodge his swing, run and dodge his swing, just keep distance until he does another one. And you're just going to repeat that until you beat him. That's the easy way. That's if you know you don't want the challenge, you just want to beat him to get his weapon or just to 100% the game you want to beat all the bosses or whatever. But if you want to do it to look cool, if you want to like record it and show your friends how, how you just beat this boss like he was nothing, then you're going to want to implement the other tricks. You especially want to want to play into his shield slam and his shield bash. That's always a good technique to use against him. And then uh, you're again going to slide with him. You're going to try to get on his left side as much as possible. He can only slam shield. You can only use his shield t two times. It has a cooldown, so he can only, if, you, if he slams the ground, he can't slam the ground again for a few attacks. And if he shield bashes, he can't shield bash again for a, two, a few attacks. And again, he, when he does a shield bash or a shield slam, he always wants to follow up with the other if you stay nearby. So knowing that, you can expect it and you know the timing. You know if it's going to be a fast one or a slow one because he's always going to do the other one next. So you can use all these techniques to get an up on this guy, to get the upper hand on him and really, really just show him who's boss. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you were trying to figure out how to beat the Tree Sentinel boss in Elden Ring, that is how you're gonna do it. Hopefully these tips and tricks help you out. If this video helped you, consider subscribing to his YouTube channel. I do a lot of video game stuff, but right now, late February 2022, I'm doing a lot of Elden Ring stuff now. I'm gonna be making boss fight guides. I'm gonna be making lots of you know, tips and tricks videos and item location videos and stuff like that. All sorts of stuff, whatever I can find that makes sense to make a video about and we're making for this game. So if that sounds interesting, consider subscribing. But now you know how to fight the Tree Sentinel boss in Elden Ring, how to beat him, how to cheese him, you know, all the different ways you could go about it. Hopefully this guide helps you out and now you can beat the Tree Sentinel in Elden Ring.